Hi friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and our weekly nursery tour. This is a fantastic way to see exactly what is growing, blooming, and thriving here at Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. For those of you that don't know, we are a Zone 7B. We are in the Piedmont of North Carolina, just west of Charlotte. So that kind of gives you a frame of reference of where we are and our climate. Uh, it is middle early September and it is still hot and sticky and humid today though. There's a little bit of Christmas in the air, which we are very, very happy about. We've got gorgeous fall color that we cannot wait to share with you. We've got mums and pansies and violas. So we're going to take a tour of all of those beautiful things. Um, and then I also want to mention, of course, we are a supplier of Unique Stone products. If you are familiar with Unique Stone, they are just amazing containers and planters, statuaries made right here in North Carolina. We are now taking orders for our spring delivery. So that will be spring of 2023. That's all I know. I'm not saying an exact date. We'll just say springtime that it will be arriving. So if you know Unique Stone and you know of a specific piece that you want, we would prefer and to ensure that you get exactly what you want if you will email us at the email address below that is orders at gardeningwithcreekside.com that way we can give you a quote if you decide on a piece we know exactly what color what style we can invoice you and you can pay online it's a really simple process that way you are guaranteed to get the piece of unique stone that you want so Send those in. The deadline is Saturday, November the 19th. So that is my cutoff date. So I need to have your orders in and paid by that date. Now, without further ado, let's talk about some really beautiful plants. Yesterday, if you remember yesterday's video, Jerry and I went to go visit King's Nursery and um, well, it's not King's Nursery, it's King's Greenhouses. I just say nursery because it is a nursery and they are fantastic grower retailers, but it is technically King's Greenhouses in Monroe, North Carolina. And they, um, this is where we get, especially like our initial flush of fall color, we get it from them. So if you're looking on, you want to figure out the production process, go back and look at yesterday's video. I will have it linked. Um, so yeah, so we've brought all the fall color in here into the greenhouse and we've tried to divide them between pansies and violas. So pansies are all on one table, violas on another table. This is just the first wave. We bring these in and refresh these constantly. Do what? And, and we grow, that's right. So Jerry was just giving me some cues behind there. Yeah, so we bring it in constantly and we are growing. So we will have all this fall color from now all the way through gosh i guess when we close in november because pansies and violas are a fall winter very early spring crop for us in north carolina here in the south we plant these now and we will have them throughout the entire growing season i know that's very different from some of you who are in colder climates but we also picked up some really fun cute little snapdragons snapdragons will bring some height and some interest if you want to put them either in the you know in the landscape or in a container in fact I grabbed I've already grabbed mine <laughs> because so I grabbed a couple of these really the white ones with the really soft yellow throat I grabbed some of those I have the um, a little hay rack that is on the front of the garden shed so I am going to use those as kind of my thriller and then we have of course just gorgeous pansies these are like matrix yellow, which is just that classic pure yellow bloom on it. And I was telling in the yesterday's video that if you're looking to support your pollinators, yellow is like the number one color for the bees. And so we just had a little bee over here. And then a minute ago, I was over by the violas and there were honeybees already on these. So yellow is a great color. If you want to go in mix, this is the majestic giants so they will be nice big huge blooms on them it is a mixed variety so you can just plant them and get just a rainbow of color in your yard which is really nice and then of course we have colossus white down here which is a gorgeous one um, because it has a, basically it's almost all solid white but it has just that little bit of that yellow throat in it 
course, mixing all these together, or if you just have a theme and you want to go by color, of course, you can do that. And then the majest Majestic Giant Blotch. People really like the ones with the blotch, that dark center. It's called the blotch. So there's a whole series of those. So we just picked up some yellows. And then this is such a really fun thriller filler for your containers and your landscape. This is Ms. America, and this is a mustard. It is full sun. It did great for us last year. We had brought it in. Our customers grabbed it up like crazy. It will stay nice and green, burgundy, all winter long and go straight into spring and we'll get some nice height to it. It is a mustard, so you can really like, like you, you can eat it. So you could pull it off and eat it if you wanted to, um, but it's a great ornamental. I grabbed two of these. I'm gonna use them kind of as my thriller filler in the Weston urns on the patio. So Ms. America is a fantastic one. And these are nice, good sized pots, right? This is not a four inch or a little, you know, six pack. So you're gonna start out with a nice size plant. And look how full that is, really nice. And just like all your other cool weather crops, they're gonna continuously kind of have older leaves on them on the bottom. And that's okay, you can just go in and you just take those old leaves off because they're constantly producing new leaves. So if you see some that are on the outer edge, don't worry about it, just pinch them off and you, you'll have gorgeous you know, foliage all season long that just keeps on producing. So Ms. America is a great option. We do still have um, coleus. So these coleuses will do great all the way through fall till we get a hard freeze in probably about old oh, November or so. Really nice color on them does great especially like this wicked hot wicked hot will be either orange or red depending on um, your sun conditions really fun yeah so coleus is a great addition as well and then we've brought some down um, as far as your perennials we've got the sombrero yellow improved that i love and adore i mean look at that echinacea it is just covered in flowers and these really like the full sun it says full sun to part shade and they like it dry so you want to put them in a spot that is not constantly damp they don't like that all right we've got angelonas of course um, we're getting this is not the final setup as far as like you know decoration for the fountain but it is doing really well we've got the eucharist of course around here people have already started throwing some coins in the fountain so that's lots of fun and then mums, mums, mums. They are cracking some color. Um, this is a, oh gosh, this is purple. Padre Cerise, and it is just showing some color there in the center. These mums are huge. They are in 10 inch terracotta pots. So you can take them just like this and put them directly onto your porch or your deck or wherever it is that you wanna have them. Um, so we do that on purpose so that you don't have to worry about like repotting them or anything like that. We've got some yellow here that's cracking color. The mums we have will go in a, um, a staggered. So we'll have the early bloomers, mid and late blooms. So we are growing our own mums and they are huge and gorgeous. We've got the orange right now is going to be the first ones that are showing some color. But that's the great thing about these mums is all you have to do is keep them watered. That's all you got to do. You don't need to fertilize them. You don't need to repot them. Just put them in a sunny to part shade conditions and just give them water and they will be very happy. So lots of fun here. Now let's talk about violas. Violas probably are um, my preferred plant as far as pansies and violas. Violas have smaller flowers on them, but there's more blooms per plant, and they do a better job of producing flowers throughout the, the winter months. They, pansies will take a break when it gets really cold. Violas go longer, and they really do make a big impact 
even though they have smaller blooms because there's so many of them. Just like this, this is that Color Max clear yellow. This is where I saw the honeybee um, feasting. So these violas are gorgeous. If you want a bicolor, then here we have the Color Max yellow jump up, which is beautiful yellow with purple. So I grabbed a couple of these for me. In fact, this is what I'm gonna pair those Snapdragons with. So it gives you kind of an idea. And when you're doing your pansies and violas, they need the sun. So even in the winter time, they need those sunny conditions. I would say a minimum of five hours. I've tried to put these sweet babies in my hay racks along our kitchen windows. And in the winter time, they just do not get enough sun. So they just don't do really well. So this is definitely gonna be a sunny spot. Really pretty soft yellow is the Color Max Lemon Splash. Really a softer yellow. So if the clear yellow is too bold for you, then this Lemon Splash is a very nice soft yellow. Um, moving on down to, these are pennies, penny violets, pretty purples. And then look at this, the Color Max Beacon Rose. This is one that yesterday Grayson convinced me. He was like, Jenny, you need these. They're beautiful with the lemon splash. So that's what I'm gonna put in the uh, Western urns on the, um, the patio area. Then we have an orange. These are a little bit delayed. Within a week, they will be nice and full. And then the Penny White Blotch. So it's a nice, soft, kind of a creamy white that has a really pretty, come here and show them, has a really pretty um, purple throat with a yellow eye. So nice and soft, really, really pretty colors in there for sure. Land, okay, let's come up, we're gonna walk our way this way because we do have lemon coral be a perennial for us. It is, makes great in containers of the landscape. It'll be a nice little spiller. And then we have got a little bit more of the kale and the cabbage. This is peacock white. This is a kale. So this will be a nice different interest, completely different color than the Ms. America. So nice upright. And then we've got three different colors of that curly kale that's more flat and give you those colors. So this is the rose, which will have a pink center. And once the temperatures really start to drop, that color is going to come out. Right now, it may not be the easiest to tell them apart, but we need those cool nights to, to really color them up. So there is rose, there is white, and then there is red. This is glamour red. So that will give you a, a whole nice new interest look to your containers or your landscape as well. Now, what we want to do is show you, because Jerry and I were talking, um, we were like, what is it what plants here in mid-September are still just like cranking out the color for us in North Carolina? Well, one of them is our summerific hibiscus. So if you have them where they get lots of water, then they just seem to continue to just produce flowers on and on. Here at the nursery, these are not on irrigation, but they do get water runoff um, from when we water the nursery plants they have just been cranking out the flowers like insane and then at the house i have uh, the new violet crush i'm telling you it's been at least two months and those things are just cranking out the colors for sure um, while we're going over there if you like white mums we have got a couple in a three gallon container there are three plants in here and they are huge. So if you like white mums, these are limited. Come on out to the nursery and grab some for sure. So more things that are giving us fall color. Um, your sedums are coming in to play. So right here we have the uh, coral jade. So look at that. These are great for those areas that are neglected, that they don't like fertilizer, they don't like a lot of water. You just wanna leave them alone, a great perennial. So that is doing really well this time of year. And then look at these lantanas. Are these not stunning? Especially the orange. The orange is what grabs my eye right away. These are wonderful for our fall containers in the south because our temperatures are still cranking. They are still hot. If you take 
this lantana, I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful plant. So we have got these lantanas and um, if you can get them in the ground and get them established before the cold hits, there is a possibility, I'm not saying it definite, but there is a possibility that it could come back next year. This is the luscious marmalade and that marmalade is just a beautiful orange color, Clemson orange, doing great. And then one of our favorites for this year especially is the citron. Citron is brand new. This is what we have. Um, look, they're even starting to root to the, to the gravel. Um, citron is a very nice, soft yellow. We have it in mass in our backyard. Gorgeous color. Beautiful. Next year, I'm going to pull this up a little bit closer to the patio and put it in the patio area as well. Um, then there is the red. So we've got the red also as well but it is definitely a perfect we're entering into that perfect season of planning and landscaping your gardens so if you need some help go visit your local garden center come to creekside nursery if you are wanting to help for us to help you design your landscape we do ask that you do make an appointment because it's really kind of hard to give you the time that you need when we're really really busy and so if you know that you're coming to Creekside and you have a landscape plan um, please don't just go hey I need you to spend the next two hours with me planning a landscape we may not be able to do it at that moment so if you can just shoot us a message through whatever social media outlet you're watching us on then we can schedule a time that way we can really devote our full attention to you and help you plan your landscape but now is go time especially for your perennials your trees and your shrubs if you're looking to like tear up some areas or create new areas now is the perfect time to do that. We've got some really fun projects, one in particular that's going to be a massive one that is coming up. So we will take you along for that ride. For um, It's going to be an ongoing project for a while because it is a huge project, but I'm really excited about it. So you'll stay tuned for that. That's a nice little teaser. But Creekside is open Wednesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Our final day for the season will be Saturday, November the 19th. So we will close right before Thanksgiving. We would love to see you here. If you're passing on through, just come see us. If you want those uh, unique stone orders, make sure you do orders at gardeningwithcreekside.com. And as always, we so appreciate you. Thank you for all your love and support. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.